Here's another simple chess game for you. I'm going to go ahead and start with my same classic opening. Pawn to king's pawn four. I like to get my knights out early in the game. Let's get them out of the way. All right. So then everything's going according to plan and and uh you don't often get to you know work out a your opening however you would like to it just doesn't always work out that way so he moved that pawn so i can he didn't do anything so he shouldn't have done that he shouldn't have left this pawn here so i'm looking for weaknesses when i play chess so if i take that pawn it's protected by my knight i'm going to threaten his queen he'll probably move his bishop here that's fine I can take his knight and trade his knight for uh, for his, um, you know, my bishop, which is if he if he takes the trade, which you, well I mean you'll have to. All right, so he's going to move up. That's good. So I will go ahead and take that, and we'll lose that. That's fine. Go up here and make him move a little bit. See what he wants to do. Not much. Oh, he's threatening. This pawn here was unprotected. Someone hadn't castled. And he's going to threaten here. Sometimes he takes that even though he shouldn't. So I'm going to put this up here and see what I can do. Let's see. That's why two pieces. Not much I can do, actually. So let's just go ahead and, and take his knight. I'd like to get his knight set. I see the knight as the most powerful piece on the board. And not everybody thinks that way. So I'm going to go ahead and go here. Now I have two pieces on this pawn, and he only has his queen. So look at that. He moved out of the way. That's odd. And so I will go ahead and take this. Oh, I see. He didn't want to be put in check. So now I can put him in check here. Probably take his rook. Not sure about that. Let's give it a try. Sometimes it doesn't work. Well, look at that. I did get his rook. Could have could have traded queens. I wasn't ready to do that. So we are just having some fun here. I can put this knight here and put him in check. I like to keep the players on the run when I can. And so now if I put this knight here, I'm going to fork his queen and his king. My favorite move. Look at this. Yay. So now, of course... I get to take his queen, and once I move, it's going to put him in check, which is great. So he'll have to go do something. But basically, the, it's game over. All I have to do now is trade for whatever he has. So I'll go here and see what I can do. Oh, I lost my queen. That's terrible. So another trick about my uh, simple chess. Don't be afraid to hit Control z twice or once, whatever. I made a mistake. I'm not gonna. Go, I'm not gonna live with that. So if you hate that kind of chess, I'm sorry, but that's what I like to do. Is just go ahead and do what I can to have a fun time with the game. So that's one of my secrets for my simple chess is uh, taking back a move when it just isn't a happy thing. So I'm going to go up here and see what I can do uh, to cause him trouble. I could probably take his rook now if he doesn't do anything else. Well, so he trades for the knight. So if I move... Yeah, okay, so I probably will get his rook. He's, may, he may move his bishop there to try to protect it. Nope, he didn't. Okay, so now our war of attrition is, is going smoothly. All right, so I'm going to go here, and I'm going to go ahead and take his pawn. If you don't have a clear way to win the game... The best thing you can do is just take pieces. I'm going to go ahead and put that there. I don't want that pawn coming down and causing me trouble. And let's get my uh, my rooks out and see what I can do with them. There we go. So I'll put him in check. And let's see what I can do here to get him more where I'd like him to be. So it'll, it's, you know, close to checkmate. It's coming along. And this should do it. All right, so checkmate. So I hope you enjoyed that. Another simple game 
of chess. Thank you so much for watching.